Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I'm just gonna make a quick video just showing you guys the vinyl I got uh, recently. If you didn't know, my birthday was like five days ago, I'm pretty sure it is now. Uh, so to celebrate, I'm just going to show you guys just some vinyl I really, really enjoy that friends have given me and uh, I've bought personally. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Uh, clipping. Visions of bodies being burned. This, like, just dropped, like, three days ago, I'm pretty sure. And it is absolutely phenomenal. It, 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 it exceeded my ex expectations. I knew that Clipping was going to make an album better than, uh, There Exists an Addiction to Blood and their other albums. But this one definitely took me by surprise just by the quality of it. Uh, if you don't know if, who Clipping are, they are a, uh, industrial hip-hop, horrorcore, like, that kind of stuff. And, um... Yeah, this is an absolutely terrifying and crazy and just awesome, awesome album. Um, definitely, definitely great for Halloween, I'd say. If you need, like, something to get you in the spooky mood for Halloween, definitely listen to this. Production on it, crazy. And the, uh, the lyrics, still good, but I think they were better on Dear Existence and Addiction of Blood. But the production is so, like, so good. Definitely their best production out of, like, all their albums. So, give this a try if you need, like, something spooky. Now, to take a complete left turn, um, Mount Erie, a crow looked at me. If you don't know who Mount Erie is, they are part of the microphones. Oh, I mean, I mean, well, Phil Elverum is, uses the moniker Mount Erie, and Phil Elverum used to be part of the microphones. And I, I kind of butchered that, but it's whatever. Um, and he has been under the Mount Erie moniker ever since 2003. So, he published this album, Mount, uh, A Crow Looked at Me, in 2017, after his um, wife died. And I don't know how to describe this album other than just heartbreaking, emotional, just poetic. And its uh, production is very, very, very minimal. Just because the focus of the album is on the storytelling of Phil Elverum and how he had to cope with his uh, wife dying. And, and it is... It has got me through a lot, and it, it, it's such a such a personal album, and it's it is weird because it's it's got me through a lot. So it's like, if if you need like something to cry to or something like, just to chill and just like relate or 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 like relate on like not like like a complete level, just like to be like, if you're in that similar mood or I don't know how to describe it. I feel like I'm taking Phil Rome's uh, work for granted by trying to, trying to, like, suggest it to people, because it's, it's such a personal album, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very, very tough listen, so, take warning, if you do decide to listen to this album, just bear in mind, it's, um, it's, it's gut-punching. Now, another left turn, <laughs> System of a Down, Toxicity, um, absolutely crazy alt-metal band and album. Yeah, the, the lyrics on this are so good. Political, uh, songs like Prison Song, Jet Pilot, uh, like, M Multiply, Deer Dance, and everything like that. Absolutely awesome lyrics. And the production is just so energetic. S like, gets you on your feet, just wants you to headbang to it, dude. It's so, so, so good. Definitely, like, one of the best metal acts, uh, in recent years, in, in, in the 2000s. Um, also... Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chop Suey. You have, I, I can, I can almost guarantee that you've probably listened to Chop Suey, and uh, if you like that song, give this a try, okay? And if you don't know what Chop Suey is, I'm not gonna try to imitate it because I just look like a like a dumbass. But uh, look up Chop Suey by System of a Down, and you know what I'm talking about. You've heard, you've probably seen it in memes or online or some shit. So uh, if you like that kind of stuff, definitely check out System of a Down and talk and definitely specifically Toxicity. Now another album that I really enjoy is The Microphones, The Glow Part 2. This is part, uh, th this, this was from Phil Elverum as well when it was part of The Microphones in 2001. So this was before, like years, years, years before he even made A Crow Looked at Me. And it's still, it's, it, this one you can much, much more relate to on a personal level just because of the, the lyrics in it and the production is just like, 
there's not really a focus on the lyrics but it also kind of is you can either you can you can enjoy this album either on a production standpoint or a lyrical standpoint uh the title track is one of the most emotional songs i've ever listened to he uh phil Avram in that song describes his suicide attempt and he describes how his heart uh his his cheeks became red his he went in with his arms swinging and how he has to cope with him having to uh live with him failing the suicide attempt and living with all those bad memories it is such such a powerful song and this and the entire album is completely solid first three songs i'll admit are the highs but it is still incredibly solid throughout the rest of it tracks like map uh and uh i felt your shape and uh the hellish horseman and even in the in instrumentals like uh like uh instrumental and something still are are really 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 good and come out of left field and it's just like okay i can survive with this so um yeah if you like indie folk but oh yeah i should explain that it's like indie folk but it's also like like uh like indie rock and like uh like it is noise rock in some some parts of it uh definitely like an awesome album definitely give this a try if you just like that kind of, like like that kind of stuff like that more like a folk feel Next one I'm going to show you is Sigur Rós, Untitled. This is a, another personal album for me, like The Glow Part 2, uh, but I don't really know how to describe this. Uh, every single track on this album is Untitled. And I think they have unt I actually have names on Spotify, but the the on the vinyl it doesn't. So, Sigur Rós, if you don't know who they are, I, I might be... I, I don't really like say Sigur Rós out loud so i might be butchering that but i mean um i don't know hopefully i'm not but uh they are an icelandic band where they take post rock which is using your instruments in unconventional ways uh compared to other rock scenes and using that post rock into more of an ambient type of stuff so unlike uh gospel do back emperor where there is much more uh like uh much more drony and and uh like cynical and very like they, I don't know how to describe it. Besides, I, I'm thinking of specifically specifically of F sharp, but um, this album is like just so soothing, so calm, so serene, and all, almost makes you want to cry just by like how beautiful it is. Uh, they sing in a made up language, and I'm, it, it, it resembles Icelandic, and I forgot what it's exactly called. I think it starts with Vaughn, but uh, God, this this is absolutely like heart crushing album and i suggest to anybody who's in like a, even like a sad mood or just needs something to uh chill to so definitely give untitled if you need to look it up just do cigaros uh parentheses like opening parenthesis closing parenthesis and that's how you found it so definitely give it a try i think it will be worth your time and their other albums are also fantastic Next one is My Bloody Valentine's Loveless. Now, if you're not familiar with My Bloody Valentine, they are a seminal shoegaze band, and this is their most popular album. So this really, really defined the shoegaze sound. And uh, if you don't know shoegaze, it's, it's uh, to simplify, it's just like the layering of guitars and, and like uh, distorted guitars and layering of instruments and stuff like that. And you can tell by the by the album cover because you see it's like the guitar and it has like a bunch of clouds and stuff but uh i'll show you the vinyl real quick it is a red tint see like that i'm not gonna pull it out all the way but this is actually a bootleg so i got it at my record store I saw it on my record store. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I definitely know that this is probably not the real thing because the real thing goes for like, I'm not even sure, like probably hundreds of dollars. I got this one for like $20, $25. And I was like, wow. And it sounds really good on my record player. So I was like, I, I, got, I got a fucking good deal. Uh, definitely give this a try. And like tracks like uh, Only Shallow and When You Sleep are absolutely, <laughs> absolutely like, crazy and awesome. And I, I, I love them. I've, I've never heard anything like them and music that i listen to and i only said it's also like a personal favorite track of mine so definitely give this definitely definitely give this a shot um yeah that's all i gotta say about loveless frank zappa we're only in it for the money i'm gonna admit 
I'm a bit of a Zappa purist. I really enjoy his jazz rock and jazz fusion as much as his uh, satirical stuff, like Absolutely Free and, and this album. Um, if you didn't tell already, and if you're familiar with the Beatles, this is a spoof on Sgt. Pepper's uh, Lily Club Heart Band. And I'll pull it up. It shows the members of the Mothers of Invention on it. It says mothers instead of Beatles. It's backwards, but it's backwards for me. It might not be for you, but it just has all the members. And I think Zappa is right there. So yeah, this is like a critique on the hippie scene, like Woodstock and stuff in the in the sixties, and it is absolutely hilarious. Um, I think every single track is like absolutely hilarious. I don't really know how to. Uh, narrow it down to track by track. They're just all just so fucking funny. Uh, and this is also a picture disc. So, uh, on this side, it has the the Mothers of Invention. And then, on the other side, it says Rolling It for the Money. So, uh, yeah. Definitely glad I picked this one up. Because this is definitely probably my favorite Zappa album. Um, I really really need to give him more credit for his uh his jazz rock stuff because i know that it is good okay i, I i've listened to hot rats multiple times which is his most popular album if you didn't know and he's uh and uh i know it's good okay i know it's good i just need to have a more open mind so yeah that's for example for me uh next album is Velocity Design Comfort by Sweet Trip. So, this has recently became a favorite album of mine. If you're not familiar with Sweet Trip, which I'm guessing you aren't, um, they are a blowing up on online for their creativity and ingenuity in the IDM shoegaze dream pop amalgamation that they have made. And it is, oh my god, I've never heard anything like this as well. Um, yeah. I don't even know how to begin with this album. It is such a trip, like the name Sweet Trip. So uh, the, the vinyl of this is a green, like a bottle cook green, as I believe is what it's called. Um, and it uses in different tracks like Disco and Chocolate Matter, it takes more of a uh, dream pop stuff with that, with IDM, still IDM production, but uh, on tracks like um, Velocity, uh, Velocity, yeah and uh, fruitcake and cookies and stuff like that. Uh, they take more, they, they develop the IDM and glitch. It's, it's oh, I, didn't, I didn't even mention that. Glitch pop. Uh, it's very, very glitchy. I don't know how to describe it past that if you've never really, really listened to anything like that. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a one of a kind album that I heavily recommend anybody to listen to. Uh, I believe that there is something for everybody in this album. Disco, I say, is the most accessible just because of, like, it's awesome, awesome vocals. Uh, tracks like Tekka and just, like, uh, Dedicated International probably aren't as accessible just because uh, Tekka is just so fucking abrasive at the beginning. Like, when I first listened to this, I was like, what? What is happening? I mean, I kind of enjoy it, but what is happening? And uh, ded uh, Dedicated and International are also just, like, longer tracks that just might be tougher for someone who isn't used to longer tracks like that to get into. So yeah, give that a try. Uh, and these two were gifts from my friends. So Michael Jackson, Thriller. I uh, don't think I need to elaborate on Michael Jackson. Uh, pro the, I guess, bestowed king of pop by the co like collective music listener like or, 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 or public or whatever, or I guess both. Uh, I prefer Prince, but... Uh, I still really, really, this is absolutely crazy, awesome album, like, and you've heard, like, probably every single track on it, like, Thriller, Beat It, Billie Jean, uh, uh Pretty, Pretty Young Thing, like, you, and, and Wanna Be Something, Wanna Be Starting Something, you've, you've probably heard almost every single track on this album, and I don't even need to explain to you why they're good, okay, they're just fucking good, so, yeah. Last album I'm gonna show you is Boards of Canada's Twoism. If you're not familiar with Boards of Canada, they are like IDM, like, uh, maybe I should, maybe I should explain what IDM is. Uh, it's a much more ambient, electronic, 
genre and you're just it's just like very 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 chill and uh like like velocity design comfort uh which takes like that chill thing and develops it glitchy this is mainly ibm like only ibm and uh down tempo and stuff like that so this is a personal favorite of mine because boards of canada is more known for their later albums like uh, music has the right to children geogati and the campfire head phase which are all fantastic albums that i that i own but uh this is a personal favorite of mine just because it's like th their beginnings before their e uh well like i think after some of their eps but it's just like just such a, it just feels much more like like i don't know just much more personal and re really personal and just ch i don't know i don't really know i don't really know why i like this album so much i think the, de the tracks definitely stand up to the other tracks like on the albums i i've previously like just just listed but uh yeah if you want to get into boards of canada definitely just start with music has the right to children and those other albums but if you want to explore more of their music definitely definitely listen to twoism and uh yeah i think we're gonna end it on that um if you enjoy just i don't know leave a comment say like wh which album did i show that you like the most have you listened to any before have you listened to none of them before did you like any of them did you like me explaining or did i say it too fast or some shit i don't know just say whatever okay it's it, 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 uh okay yeah <laughs> uh yeah i think we're gonna end it there uh i hope you enjoyed watching um and i'm gonna see you next time thank you